this is Brandon with Woolen Group, and this is Joe with Retrotech, and we're looking at an exciting new product uh, that they have on their smart gauged manometer uh, that goes along with the blower door and the, the duct tester. So, uh, Joe, would you mind telling us a little bit about it? Yeah, thanks for asking. It's got an application that's called the R-Cloud, and what it's going to do is be able to allow people to do automated testing, which is commonly out there. Retrotech and competitors will have those. This is the first one that will be able to work on your mobile device, geolocate, time date stamp, and perform your test automatically. And when you're done, you can upload that to the cloud and store it there or share it immediately as soon as you're done with your test. It's going to really be the future of how we do testing. Well, that really sounds awesome. Is that a uh, California-specific? Oh, no, yeah, that's a great question. So we do realize that there are different types of testing methods and standards that are out there from uh, California Title 24 and uh, ResNet has their own standards, uh, ICC, and even Europe will be integrated into this app. So you'll be able to select the standard method you need and the testing type. So it could be either be single point or multi-point type of test. Uh, so you'll be able to do whatever tests you need to do for your compliance path. That uh, sounds expensive. Is it going to cost me an arm and a leg? Uh, no, maybe just a couple of uh, uh, pennies to be right. Yeah, a pinky. That's right. Yeah. So the price structure is the app will be free, and you'll only pay to use it, which means that you'll pay for each test. All right, and that's really kind of defined as each blower door or duct test is two dollars each within a 30-day window. So if I go in and test in and test out um, within a 30-day window, I only get charged for each of those tests. So if I do a, a blower door and duct test within a month, I could do five or six each, and it's only four dollars max to make sure that's hopefully came across as clear. Well, that sounds like not bad at all. So uh, is there anything else you wanted to tell me about the system? Uh, no, I, we're just really excited to actually pull this out. Right now, it's uh, as of, let's see here, May of 2016, because this could be another six months and you watch that, it's uh, available on Windows devices, on your PC or a mobile device. It does not work on the phones, but it does work on your tablets. And we're right now also trying to create or finish up the development for Apple and Android devices. So we think that your tablet, even if it's not 3G or 4G enabled, will do all of this. Um, and then when you get back to an uh, internet connection, you'll be able to actually upload your data. Um, but right now, if you actually have a connection, I think you, people will use their phones more than anything. Pull out your phone, uh, pick a standard, geolocate your, uh, your, where you're going to be at, and uh, run a test and upload it. It's really going to be that simple. So this uh, works with the digital manometer to uh, over Wi-Fi? Uh, it does. So you need to use the Retrotech Smart Gauge. And the, the Retrotech Smart Gauge runs, obviously, all of Retrotech's equipment, but it also runs Minneapolis fans, uh, blower door, or their duct blaster. So you can't get an adapter and use that. If you want to use our ability to use the cloud, you can actually just switch over to the Smart Gauge. You do need to have a gauge for Retrotech that's in Wi-Fi. So if you don't have that, it's easily updated online. Um, but that's actually how you make the connection between your tablet and actually the, uh, the gauge itself is the Wi-Fi connection. Well, that sounds excellent. Thank you very much.